Hello guys, I'm Fate 2 I'm back to a brand new video. Today we are talking about the first series for the Fourth Doctor on Blu-ray. Now I'm going to talk to you about my opinion. These aren't true, these aren't false, these are what I think and maybes. Um, as of we know so far, we have the Power of the Daleks, we have Sharda on Blu-ray, we have Spearhead from Space Blu-ray, we have the movie on Blu-ray. So um, Power Dice is cool on Blu-ray because it was done in animation. So that is HD. So is Shada. So those are fine. So I believe the filming of the Sphere of Space was filmed on location filming something of a HD camera. So or something like that. Something to do with that. So that's fine. The movie apparently wasn't even HD. It was just redone and um they didn't really include nothing it was for the 25th anniversary in any case and they just released it and that was it and it had the nightmare nightmare the night of the doctor and that was it that was it really weird 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 thing um of course we have the sylvester mccoy years of sylvester mccoy years is that what it's called sylvester mccoy years yeah um his complete you know series um, now, in a German form, I believe. Um, but why would they release, you know, them on Blu-ray now? Surely they should have released, started with that one, if they're going to do that. It seems very unfair and really unhanded if they're doing that with, you know, in the future with Sylvester McCoy years. And they'd have special, because uh, with the special additions to, like, Battlefield and Silver Nemesis on that one, they're going to probably release them on Blu-ray as well. So they're going to do that. So all the people who have brought those things from Germany, they didn't need to. If you want to import those new clips, they need to. They're on there now. So that really, really seems very weird to me why we, you would do that for in any case. Um, my opinion is there are other videos, DVDs, sorry, that need to be released. I mean, Doctor Who-wise, and I don't know if any other show has that, that were originally filmed in HD, in any case, we have Sarah Jane Adventures Season 3 on Blu-ray. And it was filmed in Blu-ray HD, but it was never released on Blu-ray. So you're going to have like Series 4, which I believe only partly of it was recorded. So that partly recorded stuff on HD is going to be HD and the other stuff won't be. Or they're going to try and make it best in HD, which isn't good, you know. And I've got that complete series. So everyone who does have the complete series and worked hard to get in it will now have to go out of their way to get a new series all on Blu-ray. Um, also, Dreamland, filmed in HD. N they're not going to release it. Now, I would have thought for the Sarah Jane Adventures, I know it's probably not a good buy, best buy and all that, because you always see Sarah Jane Adventures in CX and all that. Maybe it's just me talking here. But... You would think for, like, say, the 10th anniversary, you'd try and get people to watch it. So having a Blu-ray release of that and having maybe a few more clips, you know, or more stuff in Season 3 because there was a, a celebration for Sarah Jane Adventures, um, why not have it, you know, have that on there as well, you know, because it had its own DVD release. Have that on there. Um, you know, I could always think about doing stuff, you know. So I know I'm always designing my own DVD covers, and I'm doing that actually now for the Dreamland. I'm actually doing that last night. And today I've heard all the stuff and all the rumours about season, the fourth Doctor, season one on Blu-ray. Which to me, it's good and it's not good. Because as I've heard from a lot of American viewers, the third Doctor wave doesn't look as colourful as they think it should. So, and it hasn't even got the right colours as I believe, because they have to remaster the colours to what they think it looked like and how they imagine it looked like. So it's never going to have the original colours. So maybe that's why it starts on the fourth Doctor one, because as well, we have already Spearhead from Space, and there's only like four stories. So we've got Spearhead from Space, I'm probably getting this wrong, Doctor and Silurians. Um, I'll be happy I've got this right, and the dot two and the ambassadors i think and then the last one is inferno of course so for the first series of third doctor 
a lot of them have bad coloring. I believe even now they all have bad coloring. I believe the only one has good coloring is Spear from Space, and even that's got HD now. So whatever happens, um, they started with the Tom Baker Kill one. So will they have um, Sharda again? Probably not because we've already got Sharda. So whatever happens, guys, half of them won't be released probably anyways because and if we do the second doctor ones missing ones they're always going to get one so i would actually actually prefer to see more missing stories than blu-rays in animation form if that's the only way they're going to make money i think that's been a bit greedy um i don't know if i'm going to buy it either because i believe it's 54 pounds here in the uk um buying 54 pounds i mean i think when they originally released were about probably 20 pounds maybe so maybe that is good price for people who haven't got it yet but this is mainly for like rebuys really um i don't know what to think maybe you'll see me doing a couple of videos of it in the future this isn't confirmed i don't believe they everyone there's loads of websites got different um there's no confirmed date there's nothing about it on here about any confirmed date but there's loads of people with different ideas and times of it coming out so no one's got an idea really of when it will come out and how it will come out and all that stuff not even i not even the people who actually have them listed i looked on amazon nothing i looked on amazon us nothing amazon doesn't have it um i don't check anything else i don't go on ebay and i don't go on zilvi or whatever so um no ah uh, we all have to keep up the date and see i mean i don't mind having animations on blu-ray because they are actually filmed it with a blu-ray you know hd you know thing you know they're done in a hd thing but having ones which aren't fully then you know it's a bit like surf for space it, the only things that may made me really want to get that one is because of the um you know stuff the extras and that's it and i might get that one one day because now it's about seven pounds but here in the uk but i don't know guys tell me what you think down below in the comments i think they should focus on dreamland and then sergio adventures and whatever else was on filmed in blu-ray and i think they should even have totally doctor who out one day uh i'm gonna have to do a dot two um dvd ones that i want coming out or should come out one day i don't think these should come out on blu-ray if they're not fully done you know unless it's missing if it's not fully done in blu-ray unless it's missing don't release it because then you're just releasing stuff for the sake of it for the money that's how it feels like and people are happy about this i understand about it if it's you now new viewers or if it's places who can't get doc to that goodly um on dvd understand it but if it's here in the uk it's no point there's no point, I mean, it's no point really in other places if you've got them already. So new viewers, I wouldn't bother getting it unless it's just for the parts, which would be like kind of half the story in half. I don't even know if it's in half of the whole story, you know, for like little bits of it in HD. That's been John Fate. So thanks for watching the video. I mean, please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching and goodbye for now. Bye-bye.